Good morning, Jump Start Nation. So glad you guys are joining us this morning. I'm looking forward to having a great time. Again, this has been one of those weeks where we haven't been able to go live every single morning, but this uh, will turn out to be one of the greatest weeks of our lives once everything is said and done. Can't go into a lot of details right now, but we are so thankful what God is doing as we speak the Word of God. So good morning, good morning, everyone. Yes, this is pre-recorded. So what you're speaking this morning, I was speaking last night. Last night at about 8 o'clock, 8.06 to be exact. So good morning, Jumpstart Nation. Chat it up with one another. Say hello to one another. Put an emoji up. Uh, some of you are on Facebook. Uh, some of you are on Facebook Jumpstart 2.0. Some of you are on YouTube. So we're kind of in three different categories now where at one time a year or two ago, we were all just on Byron Mills Ministries Facebook. We've diversified. And uh, so it's all good because we're making room for growth and I'm excited about what God is doing. Make sure you text, make sure you uh, put in a, uh, a message and say hello to your brothers and your sisters, Jumpstart Nation. And those of you that are new to Jumpstart Nation, we welcome you. We're glad that you're on. Praise God. We are going to be speaking the word of God about who we are and what we have in Christ. We will pick up again on the Ephesians 1 prayer, but the Lord wanted me to take a break from that uh, just for a short season. Uh, if you didn't get to watch yesterday's Jumpstart, Thursday morning's Jumpstart about the Lord's Prayer and how the word daily, as in give us this day our daily bread, daily is probably not the best translation. Tremendous insight there. Praise God. And uh, just eye-opening eye-opening for me. But I want you to see something. Jumpstart Nation, love you guys. Love you, love you. Make sure you share again. But Jeremiah, one of God's prophets, in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse um, 4, well, let me see here. Yeah, let me see here. Verse 4 through um, uh, verse 9. Let's do verse 9. Jeremiah chapter 1. I'm going to do verse 4. Then the, here, This is Jeremiah's calling. Now, Jeremiah prophesied, and his prophetic words changed the whole governments of the world. It changed everything. I mean, what God inspired Jeremiah to say caused governments to be overthrown. It caused kings to be deposed and new kings to be set up. And uh, that's exactly what's happening right now. The body of Christ is behind the scenes speaking, and there's a shift happening, and we get to be a part of it. God birthed Jumpstart Nation in the middle of this demonic pandemic to speak the word, and we are on the cutting edge, even though it seems like we're just 150, 200 people, however many over a period of time watches the Jumpstarts, we are literally changing things by speaking the word of God. So listen to this. Listen to this. He said, then the word of the Lord came to me, Jeremiah 1, 4, saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Did you hear that? Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. God knew you before he formed you in the womb. So every baby that has been aborted and is still being aborted in some countries and some states, God knows every one of them. He is the one that is forming them in their mother's womb. It's a work of God happening that's being aborted and they're being transferred to heaven. All right? Uh, before you were born... I sanctified you. In other words, I set you apart for a special purpose. Before you were born, God set you apart for a very special purpose. His first purpose is for you simply to know his love, to be loved, to know his love for you, number one. And then out of that love, you would express your gifts, your talents, your way of looking at things, your abilities, your personality. There'll never be another you. So God separated you to something special. Number one, to know that you're loved. Number two, to express that love to others, to be an expression of the love that you're feeling from God, expressing it to 
to others. So say this out loud. You ready to speak? Say this out loud. Before God formed me in the womb, he knew me. God had a relationship with me and knew me before he formed me in the womb. Before I was born, God sanctified me and set me apart as special, as unique. Then he said to Jeremiah, I ordained you a prophet to the nations. He may say to me, I ordained you as a pastor to Maysville, or I ordained you to be a father and a grandfather. I ordained, he may be saying to you, I ordained you to be a daughter, a sister, a brother. I ordained you to be whoever it is. All right. And then he said, then said I, here's what Jeremiah said. Oh, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak for I'm but a youth. He said, God, you, you put a big assignment. You've ordained me as a prophet to the nations, to the whole world. He said, Lord, do you know who you're talking to? I can't even speak right. I'm still a kid. I don't know all of the political governmental protocols. You know, God will always call you to do something that you're not naturally qualified to do. He'll always qualify, call you and anoint you and lead you to do something that is above you, bigger than you, and you feel like you're not qualified. But take the step, start doing it afraid, do it anyway, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep stepping toward that dream that he gave you. And even though you may not be naturally qualified, God will see to it that you're qualified. He qualifies the called. Amen. Say this out loud. God qualifies the called. Say this. Whom God calls, he equips. I don't have to be able to do it. All of the ability is in the calling. And uh, But the Lord said to me, see, the Lord didn't leave, you let him off the hook, but the Lord said to me, do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all uh, you shall go to all to whom I send you and whatever I command you you shall speak whatever I command you you shall speak that's why God in the new covenant has commanded us to speak the word he's commanded us to speak the word of God praise God then uh, he said uh, do not be afraid of their faces for I am with you to deliver you says the Lord. Praise God. Then the Lord said, put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, watch this jumpstart nation, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Ooh, I have put my words in your mouth. My, God says his words belong in your mouth. Do you know that God's words are so designed that they work in the mouth of a man or woman? That's what he's saying. God, the way he controls government, governments, nations rising, nations falling, is by putting his words into the mouth of a man or woman. Jumpstart nation, God has been putting his words in our mouths since the beginning of the COVID pandemic. Oh, man, this is awesome. Say this out loud. God has put his words in my mouth. And God's words in my mouth are just as powerful as God's words in his mouth. Then he said this. See, I have set thee this day, set you over the nations. He set a prophet over the nations, which includes over the kings, queens, and potentates of those nations, over the authorities. He set a man with the word in his mouth over the nations. And do you know what he did with us when Jesus rose from the dead and was seated at the right hand of God? We were raised up and we ascended up with him above 
all principality, power, might, and dominion, all governmental powers. He has set us over the nations in Christ. Our words matter. What we're saying matters. And then he said, see, I've set you this, I have set, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms. Kingdoms are a conglomerate of nations, a conglomerate of nations. And then he said, here's what I'm calling you to do, to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. You see, building and planting are the last two things you do. First, we root out, pull down, destroy, and throw down. We got to get rid of false doctrine, false teaching. We got to root out the bad talking, the negative talking, the defeated talking. Say this out loud I am rooting out and pulling down bad beliefs, wrong thinking. I am destroying and throwing down doubt and unbelief. Negative and sick words, words of defeat, words of poverty, words of lack, words of fear. I root them out. I pull them down. I destroy and I throw them down. And I'm taking the words of faith, the words of grace, the words of God, the words of the gospel of the new covenant. And I am building and I am planting God's word in my mouth are doing these very things. Praise God. So we're going to, we're going to continue to put God's words in our mouth for a couple of minutes. Colossians. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Let's root out, root out, pull down, destroy, tear down, Plant, build, and plant. Here we go. Colossians 1, 13 and 14 says, God has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Ephesians 1, 7 says almost the same thing, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, his favor. Notice this, God has delivered us from the power of darkness. The word power here is the Greek word exousia. It means authority, control, dominion. God has delivered you and me from the authority, the control, and the dominion of of darkness, Satan's kingdom. We've been delivered from sickness and disease belong to the dark dominion. Poverty, lack, homelessness, that's evil. It belongs in the realm of darkness. Depression, oppression, emotional problems. That's all in the realm of darkness. And God has already delivered you from Satan's authority. He has no power over you. He has no authority over you unless you don't know it. And he'll try to he'll try to steal it. By, he'll he'll try to pawn you out of using your own authority against yourself. Say it out loud. I am delivered. God has delivered me from the authority of darkness. Now notice this. It says, and now Anna has also translated you or transferred you or conveyed you into the kingdom of his dear son. We're now in God's kingdom where there is no poverty, no sickness, no disease, no lack, no distress. We're in a new kingdom, a ruling kingdom, and we need to learn how the laws of the kingdom work so that we can experience God's kingdom abundance, God's kingdom authority right now, in every area of life, kingdom, the the dominion of God. We're now in that kingdom where God is the king. Hallelujah. Say it out loud. I have been translated and transferred into the kingdom, into the ruling and reigning realm 
of God's dear Son. In whom? In His Son, in Jesus, we have redemption through His blood. Redemption here is, I believe it's the um, a Greek word. I don't have my Bible. Apa lutrosis. Apa means away from. Lutrosis means to be loosed. Uh, it, it also includes the idea of purchasing someone out of a slave market. Apolutrosis means to be purchased, loosed away from a slave owner, be loosed away from a slave market through a payment. So Christ has released us and set us free from Satan's play, uh, a slave market of sin, sickness, poverty, lack, emotional distress, failure, frustration, all of that stuff that's in that nasty kingdom of Satan, we have been purchased out of it. Say this out loud. In Christ Jesus, I have redemption. I've been purchased out of the slave market of the devil and defeat. Through his blood, I even have the forgiveness of sins. Now, the word forgiveness here is the word afiemi, and it means afiemi, to send away, to eliminate, to move away, to get rid of. He has not just said, I forgive you. He's literally removed the offense. It's as if this word afiemi, forgive, to send it away, it's as if you've never sinned. God sees you in Christ as if you've never sinned, and it's according to the riches of his grace. Man, that is amazing. So let's speak it one more time, Jumpstart Nation. Let's end the week up strong on Colossians 1, verse 13 and 14. Say it out loud. God has delivered me from the authority of darkness and everything in that realm. And he has translated me into the kingdom of his dear son, where I am now ruling and reigning. In his son, I have redemption through his blood, even the complete removal of my sins. I stand before God as if I've never sinned. Hallelujah. Jumpstart Nation, I love you with all of my heart. So glad that we could spend this time together. I'm so thankful that we could speak the word together. And so keep on speaking. You've activated the word of God. You have activated this word. Don't cancel it. You are redeemed. You are translated. You are delivered. You are clean. You are forgiven. You are in the realm of, 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 of kingdom dominion. Keep speaking the word just as God gave uh, Jeremiah great authority in his mouth to, to rule over nations. We are changing the political environment with the words of our mouth. We decree it and declare it in Jesus' name. God bless you guys. Have an awesome rest of the day. See you Monday.